Hi everybody, it's Susan. It's really early in the morning. Um, wasn't feeling so good and I couldn't sleep, so I thought I'd get up and go into my scrap room and make a card. I was watching um, Trina's <clears throat> video earlier on her uh, subby contest for um, her reaching a certain amount of, I think it was five or six hundred uh, subs and congratulations Trina and I came in here and I'm like okay <clears throat> what am I going to make at this hour <clears throat> that's going to keep me going without me looking to go back to sleep right away so I thought that I would try out this um, challenge contest I forgot exactly what it is in the meantime you had to make a card with five stamps or some kind of um creation of some sort or a tag or what have you a, a layout and I do cards so and tags so I thought that I was going to make a tag but then I thought let me do a card because for five stamps I'd like to make it look like something worthwhile at least I hope anyway I'm going to show you this card that I made um, I don't know if I may alter it just a little bit more by adding a couple of other embellishments but right now this is it and um, what I made was a total um, Tim Holtz inspired card where I had used the um, Tim Holtz alterations die which is the file um, and you can see there's it looks like a file in the corner and I um, did that as an A2 size card uh, folded it in half, scored it and I just put a black piece of scrap paper there and all around I put some of the um, the uh, Adirondack uh, metallic paint and I also used uh, pink mar oh, I'm still sleepy I used um, spice marmalade and walnut stain mustard seed brush corduroy and um, frayed burlap on this as well as bundled sage I kind of tried to go with neutrals at first just doing browns but I needed something to lift it off the page just a little bit I used this um, stamp set from uh, the Tim Holtz collection by Stampers Anonymous which is the um, I don't know what this is, like time or something, um, where it has a guy with the umbrella and live li live the life you've imagined, a bunch of tickets and the bird wire and and the bingo strip with the clock and another saying. So as you can see, the one stamp is split in two just to fill up the card. So that's one, and then the um, the clock is two the bingo stamp is three, the man is four, the bingo is five, and the live life, live the life you've imagined is six. <clears throat> first I stamped the uh, man with the umbrella um, with Versamark ink and I used white embossing powder. That was the first stamp that I had done. I'm sorry, I had done the clock first. No, I did him first and um, put the embossing powder on, used the heat gun, and then used all of my inks um, over all the stamps which I stamped first. Um, and for those stamps I used the archival ink which comes in this little white container. And for some reason with those stamps I really believe that you need to use a heavier ink because it stays on ink. For some reason with, with those clear rubber stamps it doesn't come out that great. Um, after using all of the inks and applying the gold paint um, and then getting a tissue brushing off some of the inks on the white uh, embossing powder, um, I then used some stickles to just very very slightly go around not everything but just very slightly corners around the stamps um, and then lastly I had used one of the um, 
I'll just put this down if you can see it. I don't know. I don't want to smear anything. But I use the little, um, what are these things called? These little game spinners. I thought that would be kind of cute on the card since it was um, a clock effect. So, um, yeah, the inside of the card is not finished yet, but you can see um, when I was um, etching some of the, um, the ink on it, I didn't cover that corner, so it kind of left a mark, which is kind of cool in a way. It looks cute. Um, and yeah, so I... I thought I'd make this card. I actually love the card, believe it or not. Um, I haven't really gotten into using my stamps in quite a while. I've been so into using, um, you know, doing a lot of um, altering items that I kind of lost it with the stamps for a while. So I was really glad, <laughs> you know, that uh, Trina had brought this up because I haven't, like I said, I haven't really grabbed my stamps in a while, which I have so many stamps, and just quickly, since I'm making a recording and YouTube has been giving me so much trouble uploading, I just wanted to show you something that I made um, over the weekend. This is really cute. It's a teeny tiny little box. It probably looks bigger um, on camera than it actually does in person. It's very small. Um, but I had some scraps left from Graphic 45, and again, you guys are so awesome. I was watching a video from Gail, and she mentioned, you know, use it or lose it, and I don't really like throwing my scraps away unless they're really tiny, and I have this huge thing full of different colors and pieces of, you know, uh, the quality craft stock. I don't have much of the junky kind, but I do have it from when I first started scrapping. Anyway, I painted um, this box and uh, the color is uh, bronze and I used a Basics a Liquitex acrylic color. I used a sponge with that and just to show you the center, the inside is all painted. I, wasn't, I was going to put paper but I just couldn't be bothered with the measuring. So, um, and I used a scraps of graphic 45 all around after I painted it with about five or six coats. And I really did um, sand the entire inside and outside with this heavy duty sander that my husband bought me from Home Depot. Um, putting on the graphic 45 paper with collage page, which is just like a Mod Podge, just um, a different name. This one has no finish, so it's dull. Um, the gold piping that you see is material from the fabric store that's adhered with my glue gun, the hot glue gun. On top here you have some flowers, actually. This one was from the dollar store. It didn't look like that, but once I sprayed it to death with a glimmer mist and spread out the, um, the petals and then used some stickles all around, I adhered that down with a hot glue gun. And making mem uh, not making memories. It's Kane Company Key. There is um, a uh, skeleton leaf there in the corner. Um, I had one left from a really long time ago that I had bought a package of it. I just can't seem to find them anywhere. There's a strand of pearls there. There's another pretty little thing. Jollies. Jolie makes these little buttons. They're really pretty. I put that in there. And um, this gold flower was from the 99 cent store and I just coiled the stem as well as this burgundy one and another gold one. That pink rose that you see there is mine. I made that uh, using pink cardstock and vintage photo. I'm just trying to shade that. And here is another one of mine. And this one is um, also using Vintage Photo, and I put some gold paint on there, and some stickles. And um, underneath there somewhere, I don't know where it is, it's just a regular plain green leaf. I guess it's very well hidden. And I'm um, getting to the bottom of this, um, there is, uh, it's painted, and those little um, legs 
uh, I bought separately and I adhered those first and then I painted them uh, with the bronze paint. Looks really pretty. Um, I just wanted the legs to make it look different. I kind of really liked it when I started using the um, Tim Holtz um, foundation legs and um, I saw a few other people using legs and this is not the first time I made it with legs so it kind of just lifts it off and gives it a different look for this tiny little chest and I just thought it was really pretty so I thought I'd make one video out of both and share it with you so um, yeah that's what I made that's a card that I made at like 5 o'clock in the morning today and this is really pretty um, I think I'm gonna I don't know maybe I'm gonna give that one to my my mom who has like three or four of my boxes already but I've been really thanking you guys you know I'm accumulating so many things that I make it's not even funny already and it's cluttering up my room with beauty <laughs> and my room is horrible just to give it a flash look at those flowers really bad okay I was thinking that um, possibly in the end of November or maybe like right after Thanksgiving I'm gonna have hopefully I may have a craft party in my house and with cards and things that I've made and just you know send out like um, a personal message to um, all of my friends and family members and some neighbors uh, you know that I'm having this craft party and it'll be like coffee and cake and potato chips and pretzels and I'm going to try to see if I can sell a few things and you know I don't even know what to charge on some things but I'm going to see if I can do that um, to at least make money just to um, support the addiction of keeping up with the times and buying things but I think I'm going to slow down on that I haven't bought some stuff um, in a little bit, a couple of weeks. But, uh, yep, enough of my ramblings. Um, and uh, just to quickly zoom up on the box and show you the flowers. Look how pretty those are. I love it. Yep. And um, here's the card. So that's it, guys. I'm going to let you go. I feel like I'm getting tired again. Maybe I'll fall back to sleep. So you guys have a good day. Bye.